Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Oh, hi, Jax. Oh my god. Second I start recording. Second I start streaming. Oh, my name is John Megacycle, and we're doing another episode of the Megacycle Crafters. I don't even know what episode number this is. I should check real quick. 20? 20, 28? 22. Sounds about right. Uh, let's go ahead and kick off that beautiful intro. Oh, I bet I don't have it set up. Hold on. <laughs> ah, nuts, that's the wrong intro. So I redid all of my Twitch. There we go. That's better. Egg on my face. Egg on my face. Alright, I redid literally all of my uh, OBS stuff. I broke it down in the way they recommend it, and it's, it's very weird. Uh, I used to have every single thing, every source in a single scene. And now I've broken down the scene, so I've got a scene for introduction, a scene for the game capture, a scene for be right back, and a scene for ending. And it's, uh, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to it, so, uh, get ready for wackiness. There's gonna be stuff that's just gonna be called incorrectly. Is this, does this still work? Ah, uh, damn, okay, cool. A little bit of a test, I guess. Just shut that off. Uh, that's not even the right mid-reel. <laughs> that's not even the right mid-reel. Okay, let's fix that real quick. Anyway, uh, hey, how's it going? I had some good energy? Uh, question mark? So I wanted to get into, uh, get into a little bit more regular with, uh, the Mega Cycle Crafter stuff, right? This is probably gonna pop off. Well, you know what? Let's do it. We'll, we'll mess with the mid-reel later. We'll mess with that later. I don't want to mess with that now. Um, yeah, it's been a while since, so I wanted to get into a little bit of it. Let's check our bandwidth real quick, make sure bandwidth looks good. We're not dropping no packets. Twitch says I'm not doing super great. This is not a good start. <laughs> this is already not a good start. Oh, now it's excellent. Okay, cool. Ha. Huh. Anyway, last week, we did like a recap episode. I wanted to go through and... Just walk you through the base, walk you through the everything I've gotten, how far we've developed and stuff. And I wanted to make this more of a regular thing. I, I originally put out for once a week. I would like to still do once a week. This isn't mining, is it? No, good, okay. Uh, so I'd like to really keep to that if we can. So I keep alt tabbing here. Uh, yeah, okay, I think, I think we're good now. A little bit of finagling, but I think we're good now. Uh, so we have, over the last 20 episodes or so, we've gotten out and knocked out power I'm happy with. We've got automatic ore production I'm happy with. We've got storage I'm happy with. We got a lot of stuff checked off our list. The one thing that I've really wanted to work on, though, is realistically other mods. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Um, let's see. There was a way to open a book to show me the stuff. Quests. This will be a good start. Um, we were using this to get through some of the other quest packs and see if we could figure out how stuff works. Building. Uh, it's like a Kia, both of the meatballs. I wouldn't mind to, like, just find a mod and just kick it around a bunch. I call this episode Tinkering About. Tinkering Around? What I do? Tinkering Around. Because I wouldn't mind to get a tinker's table. General building tools, a construction wand, a gadget stuff, it builds stuff. Exchange gadget, exchange of. Destruction gadget, guess what this does? Chills and bits. Let's create building tools. Wands of symmetry, lay your weary OCD to rest. Extendo grip, boing boing. Quark, jack of all trades, the mighty architect. Uh, the architect is like a phrase passed around a lot of a lot of whatevers. Architect also very popular in like Matrix. Just chalk it up to that. Oh boy. Okay, this is Quark. Okay. It's a mighty architect. It's a mod also. Oh boy. Okay. That's a lot to unpack. Uh. Dang it, Moon Moon. <laughs> Nature's compass, we're not lost. We're right here on this very spot. Fossil bait? Artifacts? Alex's mobs, okay. Monkeys, gorillas, and bears, oh my. I don't think we've seen a lot of that. Finn! Welcome, Finn! 
Vinny, Finmeister, Finman, fin, uh, fin, uh, lend me a fin, fin is also name for, uh, slang for money. Can you lend me a fin? I think it means five, five dollar note. Whatever, anyway, welcome back. <laughs> what is this? I, I think Ashley already killed the Ender Dragon with Pyro, so I'm not going to bother with that. Pulls and armor. Oh, God, okay, this is just very spread out. Tools and armor. Uh, search for categories. Okay. What I want to do this episode is I want to build the Tinker stuff, which should be incredibly simple. Uh, that's storage. Refined storage we never really got into. Integrated dynamics we kind of got into. Enigmatica. This has been a fun mod. However. Oh, create. Yeah, create would be a fun. Build a create base. Um, this might sound really weird, but I'm looking forward to our next mod, <laughs> our next mod pack. Um, for a very simple reason, having all this free resources absolutely shattered my ambition. Uh, one of the reasons why I really like building a smeltery is because of ore duplication, right? Something like that drives me to do better. But it kind of sucks monkeys when <laughs> I've already got everything. Grout. I am Grout. What is that? Oh. No, just do it this way. Yeah, great, thanks. Um. So as much as I've been super thankful, like a lot of the base materials are readily available. That's been super dope, don't get me wrong. Um, it's also been a little sobering because it takes the venom out of the snake kind of a thing, making the snake not really worth fighting against. If that makes sense. Go do Astral then, you can't use any of your existing stuff. That might not be a bad plan. Might not, might not be a bad plan. I wouldn't mind to get... Okay. I kind of remember the recipe of this junk and I kind of don't. Uh, this is going to make us seared bricks. Searing bricks? Seared bricks. <laughs> not green dye. Seared brick. That looks different than what I'm used to, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, I kind of like the way this is already laid out. I don't really have a good dummy place for it. Maybe over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Cal. It's a terrible plan as far as I'm concerned, but if you if having to actually grind stuff motivates you, more power to you. It's not the grind. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> it's the difference between... I have no resources, I have a little resources, I have enough resources, and I have infinite resources. Once we get to infinitum, it's meh. <laughs> like, I don't want to grind every single piece of iron. But once, once we've gotten to this process, and I can pound out iron, gold, diamond, redstone, lapis, coal, then, then this device doesn't matter. This mining thing didn't really matter except for copper, which is something I can't synthesize. That's the difference. Like if you, if I start a game and you give me a stack of iron block and gold block and redstone block and whatever, like give me that, like, there you go. There's no more. You have to mine the rest yourself. Cool. I'm happy with that. But this kind of broke it for me. It's just like, uh, occultism. I've not messed with occultism at all. Um, but yeah, this made, this made everything ridiculously, stupidly, unfortunately trivial. Which isn't the game's fault, that's not the mod's fault. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the kind of guy that's like, Oh, well, if it didn't blah blah blah, this would have been easy. No, it was my choice, I made the choice. I have a boatload of resources I don't need. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So, I'm not thinking like a brand new base, but... Maybe I get some of the resources and I go through regular tech progression. Uh, as the as the mod pack would have intended me to do something like that, something like that wouldn't be a bad like create. Okay, here's a good example. Create. Uh, maybe I go through create and I don't use any other power. I just use create power. Um, I was gonna say I'll do the same thing with. Oh, uh, what's the engineering? Immersive engineering. I was gonna say applied engineering, but that's not right. Some of the intended progress is weird, yeah. Some of some of it can lean pretty heavily 
in either direction. Um, immersive engineering wouldn't make any sense for me to do as a... Oh, everything needs mechanism. That's interesting. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Oh, I'm not going to use immersive engineering because I'm already synthesizing all of the seeds for it. It is this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. There he is, right there. Uh, I don't want any of that. Cool. Uh, so, we'll do tinkers. That should be, like I said, very quickly. At tink. It's probably going to give me a hundred things, right? Um... Num -num -num. I can never remember... Let's see if I can do it from memory, actually. Let's see if I can build all of the supplemental pieces just from memory. I don't remember what they are. Uh, let's just get a grid here. I need a... Seared Casting Basin. I need a... Seared Casting Table. Most of these are pretty simple once you get the hang of them. Neptunium? I've never heard of that. Since that seems to be the only mod in the pack that does that. Yeah, that makes... Yeah, that's another thing that's weird. Is, <laughs> like, a pack will be made. Is this a faucet? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to do one more then. Um, a pack will be made, and then, like, a specific item will be added somehow, and then some completely different pack handles it? It's weird. Cow, get... You make me so nervous. You're on top of the lava. Why? I'm not gonna hit you. Just please get off. <laughs> I don't know how... I... Oh, I do have uh, wheat or whatever. Is this still gonna be on? Bad omen. Uh, why is Suspicious doing that? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, moving on. Moving the F on with it. Okay, uh, then there's this. No. This? No. Seared heater. Solid fuel source for the melter. I don't think that's what I want. Oh, crap. Make, make Neptunium armor. That sounds dope. Obviously, Neptune. Or Poseidon, as I like to call him, but whatever. Poseidonium sounds really dumb, though. Poseidinium? Poseid Poseidinium? Would that be the Greek equivalent? Because Neptune's Roman, isn't he? One of the prestige quests. You have to make the melter in this version. I do. Ah, oh, I don't know how the melter works. Okay, let's work with what I know, and then we'll fart around with what I don't. How about that? Seem fair? Wild Ride 25, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hello, all. Okay, where did I go with this? Okay, seared fuel tank. I just need the one. We have three of those, three of those. I need the... Uh, EM is Latin, yeah. I'm gonna say Poseidinium. Poseid- Oh, Poseidonite! That's how you do it. Also, Wild Ride, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Poseidonite sounds- Well, Ait is probably the raw material? I don't know. I'm not a metallurgist. Metallurgic? Metal- <laughs> I'm allergic. That's all I know. Okay. It's not this. Don't tell me how to do it. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, that's not it. Is it full? No. Is it some shit like this? <laughs> I don't remember. I need the controller. I need the controller. That's what I'm missing. That's not it. Beans. It's not like a crafting table in seared brick, is it? I'm going to kick myself if I can't figure this out. I'm going to kick myself if I can figure this out. Uh, let's just build up the thing. This is going to be very simple on two sides. I'm not even going to use it. The other two sides will plug in our fabulous, tabulous everything we've got. So something like this. Um, it doesn't matter which side is what. I don't really care. Um, I need some hopper action. I seem to also be used to an older version of Tinker's. That seems valid, considering my age. I am the old. I need more lumber. 
I just kind of want to see how far I can get off of memory. Uh, just for giggles, I guess. What's that? Oh, get up there. I'm not looking for a ton of crafting room for tinkers. Honestly, what I'm looking for is just complete, complete the spell. Just have the capability. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing super fancy. Nothing super fancy. Okay. Pop that. Yeah, this is going to be very rudimentary. Boop. 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 And then our table's trio. And then I need my smeltery drains. Oh, I didn't make the drains. Okay, I made the... I made the faucets. I didn't make the... Cow, you are resting your loyals on uranium. Like, the spicy metals. Get... Get out of here. You're making me so nervous. Ah, oh, well, I'm not near a crafting table, but guess what I've got? My handy dandy... Ding Dong book over here. Is that... What the hell is that? Seared channels? Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know we could... Ch okay. I didn't know there were channels. Nope. Not what I want. Not what I want. Not what I... I'm gonna figure this out. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. <laughs> Damn it, Tinkers. Don't make me look it up. I will totally look it up. Okay, so there's the channels. This is what I already had for the faucets. Duh. There can't be that many more combinations. Is that... This, that, this, I already tried this. Okay, forget it. I'll just look it up. It's fine, thanks. Uh, I think I just passed it. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Mm, nope. 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 No. I almost did the theme to Mario Brothers. Second one. Nope, no, 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 but nope, nope, no, nope. Nope, but nope, nope, but nope, but nope, no, nope. But nope, but nope, nope, but nope, 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 but nope, nope, but nope, 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 nope. Bum bum ba da. There we go. Brains of the thing. Wait, I have to smelt it. Wait, hold hold on. Molten copper. I don't. I need a smeltery to make a smeltery. What? No. Here we go. Scorch brick. No. What? I'm. Effing confused. Okay, maybe there's a different scorch drain. That's what I need. Obsidian panes and scorch brick. Whoa, this is different. Uh, okay. Um, huh. Seared duct. I don't need the scorch stuff. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, was, I was about to look for other alternative recipes. I'm like, there's gotta be. Come on, there's gotta be the, the stuff I know how to do. Okay, maybe I'm just getting a little intimidated, which is fine. It happens. Part of the growing process, right? A seared drain. Smeltery fluid input and output. Seared glass. Seared ladder. Oh, that looks really cool. Seared duct. Filtered smeltery fluid. No, I don't care. Uh, smeltery item input and output. No, I want seared drain. Cool, I need three of these. I need some copper. Easy enough. Oh, I also need more bricks. Copper is you. Cow, why? I should put a little counter. <gasps> That's why they're called counters. You spell it C-O-W-N-T-E-R because counters are used for counting cows. Finn, wild ride, I figured it out. That's why they're called counters. Moo! I'm such a dumbass. That's not, and none of that is true. Um. Okay, I can't interact with it. Nope. Wait. Is that back? Ah, oh, heck. 
He could be called a sheeper if that's the case. <laughs> oh boy. Two dorks cut from the same cloth. Okay, I'm going to assume the black is the inside face. Okay, so I did do it right. All right, thank you. You're saving me a lot of, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, this is definitely new to me, which is fine. Okay. Now what I'm missing is the controller and a searing uh, a tank. Did I make a tank? I did make a tank. Seared fuel tank. Boop. Uh, we're going to wire this up so that way that just gets all the lava and its little heart desires. That handles all that. I need the brains. I need Dawson brains. Uh... That controller creation is the new, new part in this Tinker's version. Ah, oh, craps. Boundary controller. Smeltery controller. I'm not... building a foundry? Is it not called a controller? Oh, in the world? Uh, the controller is a correct item. Ah, beans. Okay, we'll have to figure this out. Uh, my German is absolutely terrible, so I do apologize if any offense was there. None was implied. I am a United States Department of Agriculture A-plus certified dumbass. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just bottle this thing up and... How's the controller supposed to work, though? <laughs> like, this thing needs a controller to work. None taken. Okay, thank goodness. Um, there's a Tinker's book. I don't remember how to... Oh my god. Uh, manual? Nope. Book? Yes? Yes, okay. That in a pattern. That in a cl What does that make? Puny smelting? Hmm, okay, interesting. Mighty smelting? <laughs> okay. That's not going to absolutely ruin the book. Oh, I forgot about the quests. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tinker's Gadgetry. Tinker's Fantastic Foundry. Holy crap. Encyclopedia of Tinkering. Good lord. Oh, I, I have a bachelor's from a college. I didn't sign up for more reading. <laughs> Kidding. I absolutely did. Okay. Tinker. What is this? This is Create. I didn't think Tinker had... Nope. What is this? Uh, I've made a revolver. I needed a revolver to make all the turrets I've made. Out in a bottle. Uh, I can't just take the reward? Okay, fine. Nuts to you. Nope. Uh, none of that's what I want. None of that's what I want. The quests are really weird in this one. Meaning there's a lot of them that just don't bloody work. Immersive engineering. I've already done half of this, I'm sure. Uh, this is RF tools. That's ours. This is Batania. Oh, nature's Aria. Which I'd like to get into anyway. Yeah, the quests are really, really weird. Like, there's a lot of them that just don't function. Like, a lot of these... Like, you can't, you can't even make them. So, I don't know who slapped this together. And it's fine. I do understand building mods and mod packs, for that matter, is, is delicate and rough work. I get it. I'm not trying to... I'm not... I'm not trying to make anyone mad or anything. Like, I'm understanding 100%. Just taking one more pass. ID, create, engineering, RF, ours, nature's aria. What is this one? <sighs> we don't need no water. Let the mother trucker burn. Burn, mother trucker. Burn. 
Uh, I really like the Cold Chamber version of that song. It's been forever since I've done Cold Chamber. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Put that on my list of other crap I need to listen to. Which is a list that is getting mighty extensive. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, that's, no, I appreciate that. Let's figure it out. I'm confident we crack open a couple books on the quick. Shouldn't take ages. I'm sure we'll get somewhere fast. I forgot how to make books. <laughs> Shoot. I think it's three paper to a single, uh... Three paper to a single thing. Golly gee. It's been a while since I played Minecraft at all, actually. Hey, Nice. Uh, let's see, from memory... Uh, is this how you make the patterns? Hell yeah. Okay, we're, we're, we're back in the good. We're back in the good. Check it. Alright. Oh, wow. Oh my. There have been updates. Uh, yes. <laughs> Bacteria has been its own thing. I've been trying to teach some of the people on my Discord server how trains work. Uh, so I built an open TTD scenario in Factorio, and it took me a while. But I'm now playing through the map, and it's my version of, like, playtesting it. So I can say, I've beaten it, it's good. It's good. I'm going to blitz through this. As quickly as I can. Yep, yep, got that. All the materials... Defense for the reading. Tinker's gadgetry, puny smelting. Fa okay, we've already read the first book. Boom. Done. Call me the valedictorian of kicking ass and cutting corners. Alright, first book done. Uh, and the. So maybe a little bit of an explanation as to what I'm trying to accomplish with it. I'm trying to incorporate people who don't use trains at all to being comfortable with how they work and the capabilities. Uh, I'm definitely not trying to be like, hey, I'll learn you all the trains. That's... I could do it. I know I know how to do it, but that's not really what I'm aiming at. Um, so it's a lot more of a patient. Uh, I have actually gone through and disabled via code. Uh, trains do no damage. You can't die. You can't handcraft anything. And everything has to just be trucked from A to B via train. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, I like it so far. Need this. Boom. Read that first book like a boss. Damn, I love these pictures. It's so good. Okay. This is the melter. Alright, now you're done tinkering with those white materials. La la la. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Multiple trains on one set of rails. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just a little bit of effectively daisy chaining. <laughs> I need to say that wasn't happening. Uh, here's your most basic melter able to perform a variety of simple tasks. Early smelter gives three nugs or plus one gem or by default. Heater can be replaced with seared tank which can increase temperature. Nine ingots. Okay. I might need a melter to get started. Your basic melter GUI. No more no less. Uh, huh. No, you are right. I have never seen someone as handsome or cool, and you're both those things. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, alright. Uh, faucets, I know that. Channels, we figured that out. Copper cans, I don't care. Casting, I don't care. I already know how to do that. Yep, casting, casting. Automation, with redstone, fine. Here are two materials. Fine. Upgrades, I'm not gonna read that. Uh, yeah. I just want the capability to do tinkers. I'm not looking to dump, jump into a bunch of stuff. Maybe armor? But, okay, let's go back. Okay, there, I just passed it. Oh, was this at the beginning of the thing? Oh, for God's sake, I should have just closed it and reopened it. Okay. Uh, here's your basic smelter. Uh, here can be play. Okay, I need a heater. That's the deal. Eta. Uh, sand casting makes a lot of sense because that's how they do it for uh, engine molds. 
It's effectively like sand, plaster, and glue. And they make the cast, and then once the cast hardens, they can... Oh, how does it work? Uh, they remove the center, and then the center is effectively the channel which they pour the molten stuff in. The molten cat that cast it. And then, like, when they're done with it, they open up the thing, and then they just push it into a vibrating table, and then it shakes all the sand back out, and they just reuse the sand. Sand isn't the right word. I'm probably abbreviating that a little bit, but yeah, you're right. I also like the sand. It is pretty dope. Seared brick. Seared fuel gauge. Didn't I already make this? I didn't. Okay, I need the gauge. So yeah, casting it, uh... Casting sand does sound pretty dope. There is saying, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, engine blocks is the one I think. I didn't know they did it with church bells as well. That's pretty ridiculous. Those things are heavy as hell. Wait, church bell, heavy as hell? Alright. Well. Whoa! Okay, I have something that automatically feeds me. I forgot about that. <laughs> it scared me. I got scared. Okay, give me that back. I need this. I need this. I need this. Thank you all for playing. Um, okay. Let's take a look at that picture again. Must be placed above a fuel tank or a heater to function. Oh, is this not the heater? Did I read? Hold on. Did I read this whole thing wrong? Basic melter. Oh, no, I need a heater. Okay. Yep, fine. Seared heater. Okay. Yep. Perfect. I know exactly what's going on. I say that with no confidence whatsoever. Okay. There's that. Cool. What do you take for heat? Just anything? Can I just shove anything? No? Maybe? Maybe. And then we're gonna do this thing. Where did the table go? Oh, I know where the table went. <laughs> yes. Okay. Was it just like that? No, nothing, nothing, no fancy. Just that's exactly what the deal is. Okay. Uh, I need controller. Uh, actually, if this is the first logical step in this process, this makes legitimately a ton of sense. Um, I kind of found it a little weird. I could jump shark or ingots, weird bricks. Cool. Um, I kind of found it weird I could go right to something really, really powerful, like a full one of these within, like, the first two hours of gameplay. Okay, what do you need for fuel? No fuel found. I, f I figured that out. Fuel efficient. Um, here we go. If you have a heater appeal showing you any item that can be used as fuel. If you have a seared tank, a bar will show. Okay, so just literally anything. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. It didn't get consumed because uh, it uh, wasn't in use. That's something that's been throwing me a lot for, for this mod pack. Is stuff that I have plugged in seems like it's not working. Because it's not used. This is cute. I really like this. Just drizzle, drizzle, drazzle all over that. Well, if anything's outdated, it's my brains. If anything's actually outdated, it's very much probably my brains. Um, okay. You're adorable. Look at you. You got the fire in your belly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, the way this works, if I recall, um, it could be. We've been running this pack, um, maybe half of a year now. Hold on. 
Let me, I could tell you. I could tell you when we downloaded the pack. Uh, let me just find... Uh, da, da, da. I wish there was a way to go to the first message in Discord. Hitting home doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, I just have to keep hitting home? Okay, we're talking July 31st of 2022. So this has been half of a year in the works. Yeah, this has been half of a year in the works. So we found the version that we thought we wanted. We picked it up. We went through a battery, actually, of mods that we wanted to try but just weren't intact. Or, like, we'd read it and be like, oh, we this sounds like a lot of fun. We know how to use a lot of these. And then it's, like, not tested with multiplayer. And we'd load it up and the server would fall apart. It was not... It was not... Uh... How do you say it? Good? It wasn't good. It, it was bad. It was full bore bad. Somebody went into the kitchen, turned on the bad faucet, and then just kept it running, and I misplaced that twice. Because I'm a genius. Okay, I don't want something massive. I want to go uh, to this level. That'll be perfect. I'll get the rest of the bricks. Um, so it makes it makes sense like if you're playing on a different version why ours looks like garbage We were gonna go all the way back to tech it uh, But that that fell through that didn't happen Someone couldn't live without some functionality. I don't remember and it was like oops Not doing that Yeah building your own mod pack so funny story about this pack we loaded it up, and we're, we're having a pretty good time with it. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, some of the other members have been, like, very, very busy with life. So they haven't been able to get on. Um, I'll tell you this story before I chuck this thing in. Now, we have the effective biomes of plenty, which is, oh, the biomes you'll go. And the thing is, it's a little hard to see, but a lot of the stuff that surrounds me is just straight-up desert. Is there a way to... Yeah. This happened. So the idea behind it is it's trying to build like continents. It's trying to build it's trying to build like proper land masses or what have you. And the issue with that is is if I need something that's not in the desert, I have to hike my ass to the other side of Narnia to go get it. That kind of sucks. <laughs> so uh, Ashley said that he wanted a similar pack. Uh, but he wanted nothing to do with Biomes of Plenty or All the Biomes of Go or any of that. He wanted none of it. So he was going to build his own pack, which I don't think he started yet. So that's neat. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, let's see if I can add that mid-reel like I wanted. See if this works. Oh, there we go. It turned out perfectly. Just like I imagined. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, building a mod pack. So, he wanted to take this, like, very mod pack and just tear out all the biomes you'll go. Uh, I'm not smart enough to figure out how that works. So, skip for me. Okay, we have the smeltery. This is a lot less slots. Oh, the, the thing changed. Cool. This looks like a Daft Punk helmet, which I love. No fuel found. I'm hoping this is the same diddly-do as we used to do, and... Very simple. <laughs> when you use the biome compass and something doesn't exist within 20,000 squares. That sounds like some new kind of hell I don't want to be a part of. Uh, yep, that sounds like some kind of hell I don't want to be a part of. Um, this is all what? Why is this connected? Oh, power. Power, okay. Right, I just need this stuff powered, so I can't hook it up there. I need to hook this up somewhere else. And I don't actually have a good hookup over here. <laughs> that burping throws me for a loop every flipping time. Uh, this seems dope. Oh, I threw away symmetrical design ages ago. 
I'm just super happy that these structures are either in like a 3x3 three three or a 5x5 five five or a something combination so I can make it look rather symmetrical against my non-symmetrical everything. Okay, we're just going to tear all this up. Cool. Do I have... I don't have cabling. Ah, beans... Bean frittata, I ain't got no cords. Uh, yeah. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glass? I have glass, don't I? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. This has to happen because the other lines I'm using are strictly for power. So they're not going to help me. They're not going to help me accomplish any of my goals. Quark I'd like to figure out a little bit more of, too. Uh, if I create a mod pack, I think I will remove the recipe for broken glass. It's just another way to make glass. And it's dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, hot, hot take. I don't like it. <laughs> I have preferences and they do not merge well with the whole breaking of the glass to get more glass. Did I connect it? I'm being so lazy. Okay, cool. I need a liquid uh, thingamadoo. Item exporter. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. I forgot how any of this works. Fluid interface. I need a output variable transformer. I need a this. Nope. Not, no, stop. This. Thanks. Oh, that's friggin' brilliant. Oh, don't tell Ashley, though. Let him let him spend a lot of time trying to get that to work. Oh, my God. Ugh. Why? 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 Why do things happen? Just... Uh, I didn't change the signal or anything. I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool, buddy. All right, it's fine. Crying aside, we'll figure it out. Crying aside, we'll figure it out. Uh, item. I need you for this. Oh, no. It's fluid? It has been a while since I've done this. Is it the other way? Maybe it's the other way. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get there. Aye. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't need you. You can go back. So what I have, unfortunately, is I have in my primary channel water, and that sucks. Um, I didn't do the variable thing yet. Too excited? I slapped it right into the thing. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an issue. I'll need to redo some of that eventually. Uh. There we go. Food exporter. Thank you. And thank you. And I wouldn't have noticed this actually. Your channel 5. Uh, I wouldn't have noticed this if I put the proper exporter on first. Ugh, and it's full of water. Nut bunnies, man. Just. Okay. You know what? I can't be bothered with all this. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. It's, uh... Uh, is it? Is la Hold on, maybe Lava's not on Channel 5. Maybe I lied. I... I'm very certain. Import all fluids, Channel 5. Okay. Uh... Do I need a filter on you? For all foods, channel 5, right? This thing took water like nobody's business, so I'm assuming... Export fluid, 5. Lava. West? Is this West? Uh, yes, this is the west 
facing side of the thing. Let's uh, let's kickstart it. Let's just get a lava, put lava in there, make sure this even works. Mayhaps my memory has a fault, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Nope, I know what the hell I'm doing. What if I said zero? Okay, nothing happened, which is correct. Five. No, it's just export fluid. Is it not connected all the way? That would be silly if I didn't connect it all the way. Oh, but I got water, so it's thoroughly connected. So confused already. Yeah, it's this issue again, which I still don't think I know how to fix. Your lava tank is on an importer, yeah, that imports it into the system. It's an interface on the other end. Filter fluids. Channel zero. Yeah, so I import stuff on zero. Zero comes in, and then I export it back out on five. Importer interface exporter. I think I'm just dumb. <laughs> okay, let me walk through this one more time. So I understand it. I do have I do have something over here. I'm currently try importer exporter. Importer interface. Hold on. I have a magma crucible here making lava. Nope. Let's try. Let's just let me just check that I have this right. This is importing all fluids channel zero, I'm sure. Channel nope. Oh, I've got it down there. Uh, uh nope. Nope. Or is it in the back? No, it's not in the back. Okay. Step at a time here. This is uh Export energy, which is feeding the thing. Fine, fine. This is a fluid importer. Channel zero, right? So. I should see some lava spilling into this. Hopefully. Okay, 102. 102 is how many buckets I've got in there. Oh, now it's not working because there's not enough power to complete the thing. <laughs> oh, that's right. X32 is not a good number. It's not good math. Okay, what about four? Eight? Eight also kills it. Come on, please, 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 please. Aw, oh, damn. That's so weird. It's a side effect of this time thing. All timey-wimey. Is if it doesn't finish, it just fails. That's an interesting side effect. Anyway. Um, I want to make sure I have this right. Because it's been a while since I visited any of this. So we'll just wait till it stops. And that's how we know it stopped. 4x. Nope, for God's sake. Don't throw it on the ground. It's literally time in a bottle. Please don't throw that on the ground. Okay. I also... Oh, there we go. Okay, so it came in. 
It is importing. It's importing. This is exporting. Come on. Oh no, you're right. This is just uh, filtering, filtering fluid. You're right. Okay, filtering fluid. Now I know what you mean. Okay. This needs to be a filtering fluid, not a fluid exporter. Um. Yep. Okay. I'm with you now. So I need a filtering fluid. It's it just yeah. It's weird. It's weird and it's weird. It's weird. Uh. I forgot how to make a filtering interface. Filtering item interface. Uh, I'll look it up. I forgot how to do that. Oh, a hopper. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take two of those. You can have that. I don't have any hoppers on the ready. It's just slap bang us together some hops. We'll have a fine beer at the end. It's why I'm bothering to make hops. Boom. Okay. Do I have... There it is. Hey. Okay. When I need to take stuff out of the system, filter it. Oh, that was a pain for no reason. Only other than I'm dumb. Okay, cool. So that'll take from our lava supply and fill that ad infinitum. Cool, cool. Um I'm not going to run cable to it. I'm going to do something like this, so that way it's already there and it's there for me to see that if I want to add stuff, I can add stuff. I'm going to just pock this in a little bit so it looks kind of good. Good, now it looks kind of bad because I don't have anything else to replace it with. Neat. Okay, well, there's our smeltery. That was pretty simple. Uh, I've already learned a lot, and actually, I'm going to assemble the melter again. Uh, oh, no, you know what, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to put it in this box, and this is going to be my Tinker's box. Now, we're not done with Tinker's. What we're also missing is a boatload of crafting tables. There's a tool parts table. There's molds. There's a lot to go through with it. I thought I had just blocks. Um, I'm not super interested in going that far this episode with it, but there's more to Tinkers. What I've only completed... Hello? Oh, <laughs> what I've only completed is, like, the barest of bare minimum. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, and the fact that it's small batch doesn't make it, like, a true negative, because you can just filter and add way more junk to it. Like... Like, I can build storage before or after the fact to make it less suck. But, yeah, you're right. Once once it's done, it's done. Um, I would almost like to see, instead of the big smeltery or whatever, maybe the smeltery takes way longer and we get better yields on ore from it. And the melter is faster or something. Maybe there's Maybe there's a good reason to have both. But yeah, there really isn't. Uh, because I'm done. I'm done with it. Let's just dump all this crap. I don't need that. What's in here? Broken glass. That. Ender pearls I don't care about. That thing I'd like. Don't care. Don't care. Not yet eaten? That's interesting. Uh, let's do this. We've already eaten our fill of carrots. But there's the only foodstuffs in here, and that'll ensure it gets hit. So I'm very much with you. I also don't care. I, I like the melter. That was actually a really cute thing. Uh, and maybe when you're ramping up resources, maybe it makes a lot of sense and you stay with the melter for a lot longer, but eh, 
kind of done already. Okay, what other mods would I like to mess with? I honestly would like to give Create a try. Let's get our inventory a little more emptied. Uh, can I just eat that food right now? Cool. And then the other food stuffs is Suspicious Steve. I'm actually going to leave that in there. Let that figure it out. Okay, so we got more lava being made. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it's not a fast process. I also don't need it to be a fast process. That's fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more of this. Uh, where's my sand at? Okay, too much. Too much, too much, too much. Okay, that's going to keep that busy for a while. Um, what I wouldn't mind to do is I wouldn't mind to shut off more of this automatic item production. You're still working. How have I been shutting you guys off? Oh, pulling the energy plug. Okay. Yep. Pull, pull. You've all been pulled. I think I've got like a few of these going for my diamond dynamos. My lapidary jerrys. Lapidary jerry. <laughs> Sounds like a weird Rick and Morty character that just pops out of nowhere. Uh, cool. The curse of me murdering a bunch of people has gone away. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, let's check out that book. Let's take a look. A book look. Create. Pyro got into create right away, and that was really pretty impressive, I'd say. Oh my god, hold shift, hold control. Okay, right. So create has a lot to do with gears, kinetic and potential energy, and uh, blah blah blah, right? Welcome to create. At its core, create follows the same primary purpose as vanilla redstone. Give the player items to enable fanciful creations. What sort of creations, do you ask? Well, just about anything. Make rideable trains, tunnel bores, massive functional windmills, or even working Rubik's Cubes. Your imagination is the limit. Naturally, with so much ground to be covered... Oh, so much ground to cover, these quests will not be exhaustive. Instead, the goal will be to introduce basic concepts of Create to give you solid footing and begin experimenting on your own. Cool. So, I want to get into Create. Uh, immersive Engineering... I don't think like we've beaten it, but we've gotten fairly far. Um, I didn't get this far. Pump jack I didn't get to a blast furnace. Uh, we got coke. We got the engineer's workbench. Does it know I've already done all this? No, I've already I've already made all of that. Okay. Uh, I've not done that. Oh, it has to detect that I have it on me, right? Well, I got a hammer, which I'm just going to put in my immersive engineering box. Nope. Yeah, good. Get in there with all the other ones. Yeah, we've already done turrets. We've already... Again, I don't think we've defeated the pack, but we've gotten pretty close. Uh, I'm at least pretty happy with how far we've gotten with it. Um, in other mod pack iterations, I've already done water wheels and windmills and stuff like that. So I'm not... Not super jonesing to get too much farther. Uh, we have also automated bullets. Just something we've accomplished, I don't know, two episodes ago or something. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Automatically makes my here casual cartridges. Uh, right now it's full and stopped. I thought I had something more to say about that. I guess I don't. Okay. Uh, what other packs do we have? Uh, I wouldn't mind to get into... We got a little bit into ours. Ars Magica. Ars Nouveau, I should say. We got to a couple of spells. There's more source stuff we can mess with, especially considering now we have a mob grinder. That would be pretty cool. Now, our Nature's Aria. 
Aura? Aura. Why did I say Aria before? Uh, nature's Aura is a druidic themed magic tech mod that uses the omnipresent Aura to drive its power. Be warned. Aura is, in limited, is a limited resource which must be magically replenished, lest the natural order be disturbed. Draining too much can cause dire consequences. These quests will guide you through the mod, but be sure to refer back to the manual regularly for extra information. Chapters will unlock as you complete these quests and associated achievements. Excellent. I thought we had Batania in here too. Uh, oh, we do. Is there a book? Uh, I, actually, you know what? I might have already picked up said item. Lexic uh, Batania, yeah. Mythic Batania. We've got. This pack has a lot of stuff in it for sure. Uh, ah, there we go. That was easy. I was like, finding the damn thing is going to be something else entirely. Lexic uh, Batania. I don't really like it. Crusty Mustard. <laughs> Okay. Magic. Tech. Naturally. Batania is a tech mod themed around natural magic. The main concept is to create magical flowers and devices utilizing the power of the earth in the form of mana. Okay. Um, does this have anything super fancy? It doesn't. Um, here's what I'm thinking. What I need is a ton of space. I'm gonna need a lot of land. The main options I have is like either just go to a different area, a different base entirely, start fresh, or I could level the the sand mountain behind me. Oh, you know what? I have an even different, dumber idea. Where's my dirt at? That is. Uh, okay. I'm gonna need a lot of dirt. How do I make dirt? Rocky dirt? Uh, oh. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, metal jetic infuser. Oh, I need biomass. I don't have biomass. Uh, that would work? Uh... Sludge refiner, I don't have sludge. Batania has a rod, that's pretty dope. I don't have uncrafting, I don't know, no, no. okay. I have to work with what I got. Um, here's the third option. The third option was, I was building a secret, secret area I was going to use to put my real base. Uh, vein mine is a thing. Vein mine's absolutely a thing. Uh, which I'll consider. But I was gonna save this as a prank that I was still working on. But maybe this is where I put my Batania stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm so high up I can't see the floor. And if you look up you can't see the base. It's just not there. Cloud looks weird, but whatever. Okay. Uh, just to summarize, why was this supposed to be a secret secret and super cool? Well, I had this idea because I was going to build a base on top of my base and put in like all the stuff. So if somebody comes in with their mini map, they're like, hey, how come the mini map looks weird? I'd be like, whoa, maybe terrain hasn't generated yet or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but I would have like a base up here. Anyway, uh, I forget how this works. Up, down, north, south, east, west. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Um, I've got my floatable flamingo in case shiz goes bad. Now, the problem is I don't know exactly where the corner is. So let's do this the fun way. What's falling? What is, oh, it's a balloon or whatever, okay. I did this too early. Oh shoot, I did this way too early and I don't know how to 
Oh, crap. Ow. Oh. That didn't hurt? Question mark. Um, instead of being a right idiot, I'm just gonna figure out the corner here. What's the corner? 558 is the corner. You know what I could do? I could just use science. That seems dumb. 557. Five, uh, holy crap, we nailed it. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And... Ow! When the stew is sus. That's... Hilarious? I don't even know where I got that stew. Cursed bull, I banish ye to one where once you came. Nuts to that. Okay. Where what the hell was it doing? Oh yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Cool. This checks all the boxes. You know what I could do is I could treat this as if this is my new uh, start, my new base. I've been working on this little area for a while. Not like a ton of time, but like at the tail end of every episode when no other, no other Mega Cycle Crafters on, I'll be like, so I'm gonna work on the secret secret. You know what I'm talking about. Secret, secret, secret. Double plus secret. Oh, what was it from Animal House? Double, double secret probation? <laughs> double, double secret probation. Delta House! Okay. These things apparently go in the corner. And not crafting tables for reasons. Actually, it looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, go away, go away. Um, I don't know what's required to begin Batania, so let's just take a little bit of a read and see how far we can get just by what we've got. I'd like to be as base as possible, so we'll eventually grab a chest, we'll go up top, we'll chuck all that crap in the chest, and then we'll go from there. Uh, yes, okay, basics and mechanics. Like, I don't know if it's going to give me a bunch of stuff. Metal Apothecary. A great plant life, they can do their bidding. A botanist needs a special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. I'm tempting my fingers like Mr. Burns. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. Every time. Mystical energy. Luckily, a petal apothecary can do just that. This bot can place in the world and given some water by right clicking or throwing a water bucket will accept any mystical petals thrown into it, absorbing their energies. Once the correct petals have been provided, throwing any seeds will finalize the process. All functional and gathering flora are made here. More information, read about the, yep. Sneak right clicking, will empty hand will remove the last item thrown in. Okay, so it's like a witch's brew. If it's filled with lava instead of water, the apothecary will serve as a brazier, an incinerator, destroying any items that come in contact with it. Comparators can detect an apothecary's fullness, since the petal apothecary can be filled by a dropped water bucket, and dispensers can fill buckets. Brain system that automatically refills the water shouldn't prove too difficult. We also have uh, aqueous accumulators and pipes and everything I can figure it out. Up to 20 seconds after crafting a flower and refilling the water, if you right-click the apothecary with an empty hand, you'll pull another set of the same ingredients out of your inventory for quick crafting in bulk. That is very handy. Okay. Pure Daisy. Far from being just the most basic, the pure daisy is the most important flower any botanist can have. So I would purify any adjacent wood and stone blocks into their purified counterparts. Counterparts? Counterparts. Living wood, living rock. These resources are important crafting materials throughout a botanist career. Just give it a minute or so. Living wood. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so Batania. So what I really ought to do is grab like, I don't know, three stacks of wood, 
Three stacks of cobble. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, am I out of lumber? What the crap? Um, all the Batania stuff I have. And just, like, move upstairs. Just see how far we can get as is, right? Okay, so I got the wood. Let's grab two of those, one of those. I got food. I don't know what Batania stuff I even have. Uh, sort? None, none. Um... The rose is just Minecraft. I don't see anything in there. I don't honestly think I have any of the raw materials needed to get this pack started. I have all the spawners. I have no need for all these mobs. Uh, cripes. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Just trying to think. I don't I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have anything. So we're gonna have to do some harvesting for sure. Uh oh, you know what? No 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 no. I take that back. I have a botanicals drawer up here. Didn't I put all the botanical crap in here? Okay, I'm starting to sympathize with Ashley about the whole does not like all the Oh, the biology. Oh, there's nature's aura, which is not what I want. Hey, okay. Batania, 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 Batania. Don't tell me that's it. Batania, Batania, Batania. Uh, this Wilden Wing belongs over here. Nope. Over here? Uh, yes. Okay, so of our... Nope. Lexi Botanica. Botania? We'll get there eventually. Uh, what am I missing? I have Black Lotus. I don't have Pure Daisy. Uh, Pure Daisy... is what I would like to find. I'm going to guess it's a grass biome sort of a thing. What is this? Wait. Hello? Anemone? Anemone? Whatever. White sage? Okay, I'm looking for a daisy. Which I'm unsure what that lo Hello? Where the hell's the- oh, backups? Oh, backups happened, okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, this is why I don't like to play modded Minecraft a lot. Sometimes it gets squiggly for reasons, and I'll never know why. Uh, is this client side? Okay, it might be client side. Well, let's reconnect, it's fine. <laughs> Uh Honestly, I wouldn't mind just a vanilla plus experience. Uh but the problem with that is it gets just far 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 too easy after a while. Try that again. Oh my gosh, the lo-fi. I'm telling you, this lo-fi music makes me a sleepy, sleepy puppy. Yeah, a little smaller, maybe? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. That's a good size. For the mid-reel. It's just nice, and it's calm, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm not young anymore. <laughs> I don't have stamina to be up till 2 a.m. gaming. 
Uh, I tried with the Dyson Sphere program. I was losing entire days to that game. Holy crap. Yep, there we go. Easy fix. And, uh... Yeah, it got to a point where... How do I switch my... There we go. I hit X a couple times. Uh, anyway, night vision. Thanks. Um, I was losing days to that game. For sure. Wait, Sage? No. Crap, what am I looking for? <laughs> I already forgot. Daisy. Pure Daisy. That reminds me of, uh... Science Theater 2001? No, Space Odyssey 2001? Ugh, Hell 9000. Batania, hot dang. I don't think I had any pinks. Did I have any pinks? No, I didn't have any pinks. This is good stuff. Okay. We're already doing great. Haven't even tried, and we're already doing great. Uh, I don't know how many things I need. This spell does not last long. It takes, like, no mana. Can I see? No, I can't. There's flower fertilizer that grows it right on the grass. Well, shoot. Alright. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> I, for I, I didn't know that was a thing. Nope. Nope. You get got. You get dead. Yep. Thankful that's only just two bolts. That's all that takes. You want a piece? There's one behind me. There's one behind me. Okay. Well, that was neat. That was fun while that didn't last. Um, what's the end goal for this? I don't know. Uh, five of each type? And then whatever we synthesize? We synthesize, maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't mind doing a little bit of traveling. I do have my... Uh, it's like an airplane, but it isn't. It's got the blades on the top. It goes... Helicopter. Hello, Ender Bros. Mean you no harm. See how I look at your hip section and not your eyes. Because golly, I know you hate it when people look at your eyes. <laughs> I would much prefer that people stare at your crotch. What? You check yourself, son. Nope. Wrong book. Thanks. Um... Not really much grows in the desert, huh? Like, very obvious statement, duh, but... There's also cactus fruits and cactus and... That's all I can think of. One of them subterranean cavey type things. Are you aggressive? Not no more, you're not. Okay, some yellow action? What's this yellow action? What are these? Dandelions, of course. <laughs> I took a year of botany, uh, only to realize I suck at botany. <laughs> Dude, that was your last shot. You have a stupid amount of armor. Yeah, damn right I level up from that. <laughs> Dude, had 10 armor. Uh, the Earth Ender axe I have, or whatever the heck this is called, took a couple of swings out of the guy. Yep, come on. As you are. No, I'd rather not kill your thralls or animals or pets or whatever, but... Unless I... Wanna do this? Let's do this. So then I did it. What is this? Aside from what? Sky Slime Crystal Block? Budding Sky Slime Crystal? 
Packed ice? This is a neat little formation that I'm not going to mess with. Huh. Very cool. Some of the things that have been really interesting in this pack, not just the items and the things you can craft and armor and the weapons and all that, but some of the more impressive things have been, honestly, the generated structures. I think there's some bridges and stuff in here. Uh, the towns are also a lot more robust, which is neat. I wonder if there's a Batania trader. Ow. Uh, am I on the right path to home? I sure am. Okay. Uh, so we got, what, seven pinks? Six pinks. Whole mess of other crap I don't want. I consider that a decent expedition. Uh, only other alternative is good. <laughs> Interrupt me while I'm talking. Jerk. Uh, the only thing else I can think of is we take the helicopter, we go out. Those experience orbs? I could have sworn I saw a twinkle. Nature's aura. All the biomes you'll go. Craft. Okay, this is all relatively useless. There's no guarantee it's not going to be equally useless if we go somewhere else, but I want to give it the college try. Um, I don't want to do an episode where I just beat the tar out of a pack and then I'm like, alright, we're done with that. Let's never talk about this again. Um, what would be a good spot for us to... Oh, let's just bebop east. Yeah, let's just bebop our way to the east. Hello? How's... Oh, okay, right. I keep forgetting how each... Okay, don't hit shift. Don't... Don't hit shift. Don't... The heck? A lot of beautiful plants there. Do not... Do not hit shift. Do not... Do... Stop... Stop thinking about hitting shift. Perfect. <laughs> the one time that actually worked. Okay, what does this thing look... Why am I poisoned? Hunger, what? Oh, for God's sake, don't... Don't... I reach into my rucksack and the first thing I pull out is garbage. So I'm like, well, yeah, garbage. Yum, 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 yum. And I just... <laughs> Come on, backpack. We're supposed to be bros. We're supposed to be a team, thick and thin. Blood is thicker than water and all that, but you keep feeding me garbage. Okay. I'm willing to give this like five more minutes. If I don't find a daisy, I'm just gonna go funbricate. That's how you spell fabrication, but with the word fun in it. Wait, aren't these Batania things? Boop. Boop. All mythical get in my inventory plant. That's what you are. Biomes should go. All the biomes should go. Minecraft. All the biomes should go. Dead bush. Is dead, is dead bush important? Dead bush is probably not important. Okay, uh, biomes will go. Biomes will go. Come on, man. One, one daisy would be dope. Tanya, hot dang. All mystical, beautiful bastards. Give me that. Give me that. Ah. Get it. Okay, so we didn't have any blue. It's mystical and tall mystical. Okay. Um, that's cool. Okay, so we found pink. We found blue. We found big blue. Uh, yellow. Nature's okay. Um, I'm not gonna bother harvesting those right now. Part of my brain's like we should harvest all that so we don't have to do this crap later. But nah. What are those? Holy cow, those are bright. 
you guys got going on over here? Batania, hot dang, Batania, Batania, tall Batania, nice. Oh, mystical yellow flower, yes, yes, oh my god, amazing. So we got mystical green, hello, there we go. We have the blessings of the roadrunner. Uh, humorously enough, it, uh, when I was Dungeon Master years ago, years and years and years ago, uh, I would put in items that had, like, a very obvious benefit, but usually a comical negative. So, like, uh, the Blessings of the Roadrunner, in this case, like, my fun negative might be, uh, hold on, I'll get to you, might be, gives you very fast speed. But you also have to say meet me after everything. Uh, also, I would probably work in some sort of religious lore that meet me is a way to summon the devil or something. And religious -y types would be like, hey, not in our house. Not in the house of our lord. Get out of here. And you're just like, okay, sorry, meet me. I didn't mean to, to meet me. I, no, I'll leave right now. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to meet me. I mean, <laughs> something like that. Something makes for good, uh, comical roleplay. Uh, so like, a bag of holding. Uh, but it's- the frequency is shared. Arson of- uh, okay, yes, yeah, Arson Sapling. So like, um... Yeah, you have a bag of holding, and somebody else has a- a different bag of holding, but they both link to the same thing. So if you put an item in, somebody else might take that same item out. Ooh! Like gray flower. Or maybe a bag of holding that can only hold sprinkles. That's funny. Uh still still is a pretty good diversion for you to empty the entire universe worth of sprinkles at somebody. Or glitter. Uh, glitter works too, if you'd prefer glitter instead. Uh sprinkles are this stuff. Americans call them sprinkles. I think British people call them hundreds and thousands. They're like little, little sugar, little tiny, tiny sugar droplets. Put it on like ice cream or something. Yeah, hundreds and thousands. I, it took me a while to understand what that meant. But, oh, I, I do know you. Okay, uh, boop, back to base. And boop to the top side. And where's that Chesterino? Ah. All the crap. I need this. I want that. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. I would like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we can get started with this. Petal Apothecary. Does it say how to make the Petal Apothecary? Oh, I will also need water. It does. Uh, petals. How do I make a petal of something? Oh, well, that was painfully easy. Let's get rid of these tall guys. There we go. Um, I will need a bucket of water. Let's go fetch us one bucket of sweet, salty water. We're gonna make some saltwater taffy. Uh, I don't have a crafting table up here, so guess what? Uh, I forgot. Was it cobblestone? Yep, I already completely forgot. What is it? Uh, it is cobblestone. I was almost right. It's wrong again. Hold on. Okay, I missed some bits in the middle. Okay, Petal Apothecary. Ta-da! Oh, what's with this music? It's too calm! Uh, it's fine. And water you go. Okay, I've made a Petal Apothecary. Hooray for me, I'm a genius. Now what? 
Uh, flower pouch. The physical laws regarding inventories are somewhat skewed in our world. Thanks to that, carrying an array of different colors of flowers could turn out to be a major hassle. Luckily, a flower, 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 flower pouch takes care of all those issues. It serves up to one stack of each colored mystical flower and tall mystical flower and passes if it catches any more that its holder picks up. Neat. Flowers won't be picked up by the pouch if the pouch is held in your dominant hand. Furthermore, sneak right click on the pouch on a chest or inventory will dump all the flowers. That's dope. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go get wool. So let's set up some rules for ourselves. What is the level of expectation? I want to start fresh. Yes, I do. That being said, if it's a very basic resource, I'm not going to spend a ton of time farting around trying to get it. An example here, example uh, Uno, is wool. Uh, I can make wool very easily. Boom. I need way more than that. Thanks. Um, the trick of this is, is if it's, like I said, if it's, if it's a really simple base resource, I'm not going to fart around trying to find it. I'm not going to go find some sheep and shear the sheep to get the wool. Nah, we we have the materials. Let's, let's make this a little easier on ourselves. Okay, I got to be real. This music is absolutely putting me to sleep. Let's push on for about another half hour. Another half hour, and then we'll call it. I'm dozing away here. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Okay. Crafting Senior. I think I remember this one. Cool. And I have the stuff. That is super cool. Okay, it'll hold the flower. Not the petal. Oh, uh, that's fine. Um, I hope you are not afraid of heights. We There you go. Have fun. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of flowers. I, I thought there was like four flowers. Oof. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see here. Uh, what's next? About the same size as the inside. Any colors work? Great. Pure Daisy. I have not found a Pure Daisy. Black Lotus. Lucid flower by the name of the Black Lotus exists. However, it's not known to grow or reproduce. There are no known, known sources. It's known, however, that each bloom contains a good deal of concentrated mana. They can be released by dissolving said a non-empty mana pool. Just throwing it in will do. Okay, Pure Daisy. Living wood can be turned into twigs. Yeah, I don't have any white petals. Natural apparatus. Fell pumpkin. A fell pumpkin is a demented infusion of a pumpkin with the fell spirits of slain monsters. This vile pumpkin can be placed atop two iron bars as one with snow blocks or snow golem to spawn a blaze. Blazes thusly spawned are somewhat fragile and drop a smattering of blaze powder in place of a blaze rod. That's pretty cool. Ah. Okay. Uh, mystical items, trinkets and accessories, ender artifacts, tree index, mythic botany, Alfheim, miscellaneous. Okay. Mystical items, overgrowth seed. When planted on grass, spells it into enchanted soil. Flowers that are planted on this enchanted soil function at twice their normal speed. Unfortunately, no method of actually creating these seeds is known. They've allegedly been spotted by historians in ancient temples, perhaps. Okay. Cool. Trinkets and accessories. I don't think I care. Ender artifacts. I don't think I care. Interesting. Okay. So... Complete achievements to unlock more. I don't want to mark all as red, but I want to reopen the book. Okay, so this is like the main page. Fair enough. Um, aside from collecting leaves, what other things should I be paying attention to? 
Mana splitter. What was the thing that Finn said? A flower fertilizer? Oh, man. Oh, excuse me. I'm telling you. This music just puts me to sleep. Rockabye baby. Mana pool, living rock. What is this going to do? Okay, I still need a pure daisy. It doesn't say where to get the item. But just then get the item. Okay, let's take a look at that fertilizer then. Wow. It is dark as heck up here. Are we above the rain? That's interesting. Floral fertilizer. A bunch of dyes and bone meal. Cool. This is another thing that instead of dinking around for a super, super long time just searching for component tree, this is something I don't mind. Now, if it gets to the point where we're hitting the midterm, like the mid game of a mod pack, and it's like, oh, I've got like one item and I can cheat through half of this. That's not really what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I defo have a bunch of bones. Floral fertilizer. Nice. That makes that very simple. Thank you, Finn. Okay. Okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little more uh, powerful, but that's okay. Now the question is, is this going to my backpack or is this going to the pouch? It's going to the backpack. Which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, let's go make a ton more of this. How much, what else can I do with it? Black dye, white dye, orange dye, magenta dye, light blue dye. Can't they do that with uh, lapis? Blue dye is lapis. Does blue dye work? Come on, tell me blue. Oh, dang it, I clicked. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, blue dye. Cyan. There we go, cool. Okay. We're gonna make a crap ton of this, we're just gonna get this handled. I think to maximize Batania and Nature's Aura and all of these other mods, it would be far more fortuitous if... Oh my gosh, hi Jax. Oh my god, come here. Come here. No? <laughs> he's, I could hear him meowing in the other room, and now that he's in this room, I'm like, do you want pets? And he's like, no! You suck. <laughs> uh, which is fine. Uh, anyway, like I was trying to say is to get, I think, the biggest bang for the buck for these mods, these nature mods. Oh, I gotta convert into blue dye first. Um, thinking about them in the beginning and having a good idea of that's what you want to do, I think makes it a lot more fortuitous. Not that this is bad. This isn't bad. Yeah, it's Um, but when we started, we started to do a lot of exploring. That would have been a good idea for like, oh, I should keep an eye out for this. Oh, I should pay attention to that. Oh, uh, pay, yeah, it, make sure we look for this or whatever. Um, I didn't, and that's that's kind of what makes it a little difficult to double back now. But it's okay. Oh my gosh, Jax, come here, come here. I don't know if you can hear him. I'm so sorry. He wants it to be bedtime. It's not bedtime. He is just meowing and me he's getting on an age too. Can I just spam this? Shoot, yeah, I can. 
Was that a... Nope, it's a mystical white flower. Get this cleared up a bit. Uh, maybe what I should do is I should take my backpack off. Really maximize the benefit. Uh, it is here. Oh, I apologize. I still have my Discord up. I thought I closed you, you silly. Okay. Uh, backpack goes in there. There. Now we're getting a little bit more of a feel for the actual pack, right? Um, the satchel needs to be my not not in my dominant hand, which it is not. Easy way to do this would be just a bucket of water, really. Uh, the only problem with that is it would absolutely spill everything off the side, and that's not what I want. So I wonder if the daisy has to be synthesized. Um, if it's not something we're finding here... I legit wonder if that has to be something that's crafted, like it's all the petals put together for the pure daisy. Or something. No idea. Uh, just found the book so far, and I was hoping the book was gonna tell me, but that's alright. Okay, there's all 64 done and spent. Okay, what do we have? Um, we have a fair collection. Why? Oh, is it because I have none of it? Oh, okay. Weird. That's interesting. Okay, so I don't have a pure daisy, though. What? Okay, hold on. Uh, white shimmering mushroom. Mystical white petal. Um, I'm not really too sure how this works. How do I make mystical white petals? Is it like this? Okay, cool. I'm following so far. What? Uh, oh. Oh, nope, that was a torch. Boo. Shift to stop animation. Yeah, it's a blank canvas to start your adventure. Okay. Oh, shift click for recipe. I thought I did that. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, it said 20 seconds. Uh, I guess I wish I knew how to use this thing. 
Metal Apothecary, yep. Oh, thrown into it. Thrown into it. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. The weird thing is, I clicked, and then it all felt like it responded. I only have three. What's going on here? Okay, sacrifices were made. We lost one. It doesn't matter. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> Where'd I just plant that? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, plus seeds. Oh, well. Holy crap. Okay, I should be able to find some seeds here. New chapters unlocked. Really? Hey, we have a pure daisy. Nice. Okay. Uh, water is going to be a terrible issue. Let's see. Do I have a bucket? A tank? That would be neat. Uh, you're full of milk, I think. Uh, what's in here? Liquid meat? That's not helpful. I could have sworn I had a spare bucket just, like, ready to go. That didn't have meat in it. Nope. Not really willing to... take too long to figure this out. Um, I could hammer out a new bucket. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just hook up everything to the ID system here and just pipe water up. Uh, water's another thing I don't really feel like dealing with. Uh, we'll create an infinite water source. It'll be fine. Don't mind me. Just go to bed. Be in my bucket. Oh my word, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have to go play Team Fortress 2 or something after this, wake up a little bit. Uh, Team Fortress 2 has also officially become absolutely unplayable again. Uh, right, right before Christmas, the game was doing pretty well with its bot problem. And now they're everywhere. It's insane uh it is <laughs> if you can get on it at the right time you can get on at the right time it's fine as long as both teams are cooperating and they're booting bots left and right it's fine um i woke up really early like was it yesterday or something a little bit like four in the morning and i was like you know what i can't sleep um i'm restless let's just do something to to wear my mind out so I played Team Fortress 2, hopped into a room, uh, 11 players, both red and blue, so like 22 people, I jump in, I'm 23, it's an entire room full of bots, the bots vote and kick me out immediately. It was, it was, uh, heartwarming that I'm now a threat to the bots, no, <laughs> they just booted me out. Um, okay, I have the daisy. What was that recipe? Uh, pure daisy. Four stone, four wood. I wonder if it needs to be actual stone. Ooh. Okay, well, while well, that wacky crap is on the on the boil, let's see what else. Wand of the forest. Bondit's most important tool for manipulating flowers is the wand of the forest. This wand, crafted from a pair of mystical petals, strapped to a few living wood twigs, is a must-have for a huge number of botanical tasks. The wand has two modes, bind mode and function mode. In bind mode, shift right-click it on a comp out of a block to select it and then sneak right click elsewhere to bind the two blocks in function mode it simply doesn't perform this function freeing the sneak wait it simply doesn't perform this function bring the sneak right click action up for other tasks the two modes can be switched 
Okay, but what does it do? Sneak right clicking a block in function mode rotates the block around the axis of the side it was clicked on. For example, using the wand at the top of a chest will change the direction it faces. Most blocks with orientations can be reorientated this way. A dispenser holding a wand will use the wand on the block it currently faces when triggered. The branches... Okay, cool. Okay, well, let's make some of that. We have living wood, and we have cobblestone. I'm going to get my axe. I'm not going to use an axe for pickaxe things. There we go. Uh, I guess this had to be stone? Do I have straight up stone? I don't. Okay. Well, I got the twigs. I got the twigs, right? Is this just... Planks to twigs? Nope. How was... Hold on. How was that supposed to work? Uh, basics. <laughs> Wand of the forest. Yeah, how do I make a living wood twig, though? Oh, it needed to be in log form. Now that I made them planks, they don't work that way. Okay, fine. Uh, you learn something new every day or whatever. Have fun with that. That was, uh, <laughs> the quickest fail I've ever had. It's the little, it's the little visual stuff that really makes it pop, I think. Or is this something like, uh-huh. 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 Oh, you can't be watched. It needs, it needs private time. Ha! No? Okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. What the heck? Okay. Um, cool. Oh, what, uh, what petals do I want to augment mine with? Let's do a black? Oh, let's just do them both blue. I already got two petals. Ooh, that is pretty snifty. Snifty, snifty. Okay, I've got the wood. There we go. Oh, it's kind of expensive, actually. Um, it's fine. Okay, I have my Wand of the Forest. I also have a bunch of crap I don't want. Okay. Uh, now what do I do with this? Okay, I can rotate stuff. That's kind of all I got out of that. Um... Okay, that was basics. Uh, mana manipulation? Sure. Oh, crap. Okay, introduction to mana. Uh, another 15 minutes and I think I'll wrap up. I want to get a little farther now that we're here. Mana is an essential... Oh, no. Ethereal. Mana is an ethereal substance in essence. It's a mystical form of energy. Uh, its existence is inconsistent to the senses and its color depends on the surrounding environment. That, that was a weird sentence, but okay. The manipulation of mana is likely the most important skill a botanist needs to master. Generating flora are used to create mana. Mana, so generated, can be extracted and transferred with mana spreaders and stored in mana pools. Mana can be used for a myriad of things. For starters, it can fuel functional flora. To get started on mastering mana, learn to use endoflames or hydroanges? Mana spreaders and mana pools. These forms a basic infrastructure for mana generation. Every read through the functional flora and natural apparatus section for the lexicon to learn more. Okay. Uh, let's look at a mana pool. Mana pool, simply put, a storage for mana. It accepts mana from mana spreaders, and any adjacent ones will fill it fill from it automatically. All functional flora require a nearby mana pool to draw power from. Okay. 
Mana pools come in two different two types. A weaker diluted variety, which stores a very small amount of mana, and a normal variety, which stores a hundred times more of the diluted kind. Holy crap. Whenever mana pools refer to elsewhere, it refers to the normal one. Okay. Living rock. Making a mana pool. Making a diluted pool. I want the big one. Ugh, I do need just regular rock. Okay. I didn't know I needed straight up rock. Um, at this juncture... We could use a bucket of water and a bucket of lava to make stone. Realistically, for my purposes, we're just going to grab some. Again, I am actively trying to limit exactly how much of this we're pulling from the base. But these are very simplistic materials that I am far, far, far past. Also... We could just get this daisy, put it in the ground somewhere, and then just harvest the stones afterwards. That would work as well. This isn't really that big of a deal. Um, okay. Making a mana pool, yep. Mana spreader. The mana spreader is the single most important tool. God, there's so many super important tools. <laughs> The block shoots mana from point A to B. It faces a cardinal direction in place, but sneak right-clicking it with a wand of force, and the face points it elsewhere. It can be aimed at other blocks with a wand in bind mode. Okay. The mana spreader has a small internal buffer of mana, which will get filled by generating flora bound to it. Flowers when placed auto-bind to the nearest spreader. This buffer can be viewed by hovering over a spreader with a wand of the forest in hand. Holding a wand of the forest makes nearby spreaders display aiming beams. Hovering over a spreader highlights its target. The spreader highlights to... Right, I read that. The sparkles show where the mana loss begins to occur. As long as the target of the spreader can accept mana, that is, can contain mana and isn't full, the spreader will repeatedly fire mana bursts which travel their destination and travel mana, travel mana to it. Yeah. Spreader, spreader will only fire another burst when the last one hits a target. Furthermore, a mana burst will start suffering mana loss after a small amount of time. This can be seen in the burst's appearance as it thins at that point. Applying a redstone signal to a spreader will pause its firing of bursts. If finer controls required, a pulse mana spreader is recommended. As it fires upon a redstone signal in lieu of a target. A mana spreader. Living wood. I am going to just take the gold. Right clicking the spreader will receive a piece of wool. With a piece of wool will sleeve it. In addition to making the spreader look fancier, it also muffle a sound when a burst is shot. It is the potential noise of a large number of spreaders in one area. Similarly, right clicking while holding scaffolding will surround it in a sturdy frame. This allows it to support fragile redstone components like buttons and levers on all sides. Redstone dust, repeaters, and similar can also be placed on top of it. This also seems to allow the spreader to entirely contain water placed in it. Right click while removing the scaffolding again. Okay. Let's get this mined up. Don't mind if I do. That was terrible, but I'll take it. Wrong thing. Okay, I have a mana pool. We're going to get some wool and some gold. We're going to make a spreader. We're going to plant some some uh, Batania stuff. We'll see how far this gets us. I'm going to take 10 of that. Thank you kindly. Would you kindly thank you kindly? So, Batania, it says, has the power to automate everything in vanilla Minecraft, which sounds fascinating. I'm going to put this mana pool right here. Um, I need more living wood logs. I don't need living wood planks at all, do I? Um, nope. 
it's a regular plank, which does me zero good. And you're out of here. Okay, let's see that recipe again. Oh, I don't have my backpack. I just thought of something. I'm going to starve to death. Well, thanks. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, what, was that, what was that recipe again? Uh, it is mana manipulation, a mana spreader. Uh, I don't have redstone dust, so that was easy. Okay, I was like, how do I make it glimmering? Did we cover that chapter and I fell asleep? This is college all over again. Crap. Okay. Let's see if I remember the recipe. Okay. I don't want that to happen. Nope. Uh... No, I want you to rotate, sir. Oh, how does this work? Uh... Okay, hold on. I read something clearly and I completely forgot it. I don't want to click it with a piece of wood or wool. Uh... okay. Makes nearby spreaders display aiming beams hovering over a spreader highlights its target. Uh huh. Oh, sneak right clicking it. Okay, sneak right click. What? What? Oh god. Uh, this is a little more complex than I thought this was going to be. Ooh, did I get it? I'm getting it. Oh, sweet. <sighs> That's not terrible. Too, too far. Okay, good. Good enough. Good enough, cool. Okay, um... Do I just plant some stuff? No, I want to know how much is in it, you fool. I'm sure I'm missing something, but that's okay. This still feels like a good start. Oh! Oh, I had the stick open. Uh, this still feels good, though. Uh, okay. Oh, mana steel? No, no, no. Mana spreader. Generating floor behind, bound to it. Flowers been placed, auto bind to the nearest spreader. Viewed by hovering over a spreader with a wand of forest in hand. Okay. I see the line that's going to the pool, which is nice. Does that help? I don't think that helped any. Okay. Oh, maybe I need a lot of flowers. Any better? Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna place this properly. Oh god, no. That's slightly worse. And that's facing the wrong way.
that good? It is in fact hitting it. Okay, cool, cool. Nope, I just want half of those. Thank you. Okay, moving on with the lesson. Using mana spreaders to transport mana is all well and good, but there's other ways of getting this stuff around too. The mana tablet is a portable item that can carry mana within itself. In addition, other items in an inventory can draw from it for their own use, making it an essential tool. Tossing a tablet into a mana pool will allow for the flow of mana between them. Sneak right clicking or using a dispenser on the mana pool with a wand of forest will change the way the mana will flow. Unlike normal items, drop tablets never despawn. Cool. Um, sadly, it doesn't have Wi-Fi. That's adorable. Uh, we're going to deal with that later. Yeah, we're going to deal with that later. Um, here's where I'm at. As I mentioned before, my energy is waning pretty hard. And I'm finding kind of hard to concentrate. Mostly because of this lo-fi, chill, chill music. Also, Jax is in the other room, meowing his head off, very convinced it's bedtime, and it might as well be. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this up. I want to say thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and another short episode of the Megacycle Crafters is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.